Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we have three different branded 100 watt solar panels and what's gonna happen as we connect them together in parallel. These are mismatched panels. Are we gonna get a total of 300 watts or are we gonna see less power? Now each one of these solar panels is angled properly at the sun using the can trick. You set the can on there, when the shade disappears, you know you're angled properly at the sun. Now in the video today, we'll be testing three different 100 watt solar panels. Right here we have Renogy's 100 watt solar panel. In the middle we have a 100 watt panel from New Power. And then on the end, we have a 100 watt panel from Bouge RV. Now we'll be testing each panel individually for the VOC and then also for peak power. We'll see what the voltage and amps are on each one. And then we'll put them all together in parallel to see what happens. Now breaking down our solar testing conditions today, it is a late winter day. It's around 50 degrees and we have very clear skies. Now for all the testing today, we'll be using my Blue Sky MPPT solar charge controller with an inline shunt so we can see the voltage and the amperage, which is connected up to the Rodeo 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, which is charged at 50% state of charge so the voltage stays the same. Now before we jump into the next section of the video, I've started a new consulting service called Ask Me. So if you have specific questions about power stations, solar panels, or batteries, you guys can get in direct contact with me. If you want to do that, check out the link down in the video description. So we'll start our testing with the Renogy 100 watt panel. You can see the VOC is 22.82 volts. Now with the Renogy 100 watt solar panel connected up, we are getting 18.38 volts at 5.6 amps, right around 103 watts. Let's go ahead and move on to the new power panel. You can see the VOC for this panel is 17.94 volts, which is quite a bit less than the Renogy panel we just tested. So looking at the new power panel connected up, we're getting 13.62 volts at 6.47 amps for a total of 88 watts. So a little bit less power than we're getting with the other panel. Now moving on to the Bouge RV 100 watt panel, the VOC on that panel is 20.55 volts. With the Bouge RV 100 watt panel connected up to the charge controller, we are getting 16.3 volts at 5.33 amps at 87 watts. So now that we've tested each solar panel, we know the peak power that we can get with these current conditions. So we saw around 100 watts on the Renogy. We saw around 88 to 87 on both these other panels. So if we add that up in a perfect world, we'd expect around 275 watts from all three of these panels if we put them together. But what I think is going to happen is the new power panel has a really low uh, peak power voltage. So I think as we connect these together in parallel, we're going to see the voltage of all panels drop down to that 13 volts. And so that's really going to reduce the power output of the Renogy and of the Bouge RV solar panel. We'll see how many watts we can get as we put these in parallel. So let's go ahead and connect them up. So I've connected each of the panels together in parallel and we're checking the VOC at 19.68 volts. Now, if you remember the Bouge RV and the Renogy had a higher VOC. So you can see it's lower now that they're all connected together in parallel. Now with all three solar panels connected into the charge controller, we are getting 15.48 volts at 16 amps, right around 249 watts. Now that's interesting guys, you can see our voltage is a little bit higher than the new power and lower than the Bouge RV and Renogy panel. So it is somewhat meeting in the middle and we are getting less power than the panels on their own. If you remember, we got around, oh, 275 watts on their own and now we are getting around 250 watts. Hey, my name's Logan. I'm friends with Jason. Uh, just watching him nerd out on all of these panels, uh, trying to figure out what's going on here. And it looks like the theory that the new power panel, the voltage was drawing these other two panels down. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull out the new power panel and see how they do. So with both the Bouge RV and Renogy panels connected in parallel, we're getting 17.42 volts at 10.6 amps at 185 watts. Now remember, each of these panels on their own uh, the Renogy was 100 watts and the Bouge RV was around 88 watts. So almost the same power because these panels are very similar at their peak voltages. So what do you guys think of this experiment? I thought it was really interesting to see what would happen with mismatched panels. Now, from the results today, if you are going to put mismatched panels together, you want to make sure that the voltage numbers are very similar for the panels. Because if you remember, the new power was much different than the other two panels and it brought the total power down. But when we connected the Renogy and the Bouge RV together, they were so similar that we almost saw full power from them. So just keep in mind when we're connecting mismatched panels together, you want to match the voltage. And if you guys like the video, please smash the thumbs up button, share it with your friends, share it with your family. I will include um, the links to these three products down in the video description. They all have their benefits. They all worked well. 
And if you guys are interested, I'll list a couple other videos that you guys can check out uh, on the channel that are similar to these ones. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.